Alrighty, what is going on? Welcome back, and today we have a recap of the Eastern Conference play-in tournament. Now, of course, it's not official uh, about the eight seeds and stuff, but we did have the first two games yesterday. First game we will be talking about is the first game that happened was the Pacers versus Hornets. Final score, 144 Pacers, 117 Hornets. An absolute blowout by Indiana here. Charlotte just didn't really play well in the first quarter, and that showed as they were down on about 20 to 30 in the first quarter to start out. And from that point on, I think everybody knew how that game was going to go. Um, nobody really stood out on this Hornets team. Uh, I think Miles Bridges was probably the best one, led the team in scoring with well, the only one above 20 points, him with 23 points, also eight rebounds and four assists. Um, Bismack Biombo literally played three minutes. I'm not sure if he got injured or anything. Uh, LaMelo Ball did not play good in his first, I will say that this is postseason game, and Terrozier 0 for 9 from 3. And off the bench, nobody other than Cody Zeller, Devontae Graham with 1 for 7 from 3, and then Malik Monk also was 3 for 5, 5 for 10 from the field, so not too, too shabby, but, um... Other than really Cody Zeller and Cody Martin, who only made two threes out of three, though, I, I think literally nobody really stood out to this game. Um, so the Hornets just not, just, they, they, they just weren't, they just couldn't even buy a basket this game. Um, on the Pacer side of things, it was mostly everybody. Sabonis with 14 points, 21 rebounds, 9 assists. He had a spectacular game, near triple double. Um, I'm sorry, it's, this is just so weird. I'm trying to think what just happened here. Um, O'Shea Brissett, I wasn't sure what his first name was. He was starting because Karis LeVert was out, and they still, they, stumped, they still somehow were able to beat them by, like, nearly 30 points. And you guys, if you have not watched my predictions, make sure you go check that out right now. I did have the Hornets beating the Pacers and the Wizards beating the Celtics. We'll, we'll get to the Wizards game in a, Celt in a second, but... um. I did have the Hornets winning this game, and I, jeez, oh, like, wow. Um, but O'Shea Brissett, 3 for 6 from 3, 10 for 14 from the field with 23 points. Justin Holiday had a pretty, pretty nice game. Doug McDermott was on fire in the first quarter at 16, ended the game with 21. And Malcolm Brogdon was pretty, pretty nice for this Pacers team, too, with 16 and 8 assists. Off the bench, some good, good numbers here with TJ McConnell, 17 points, 5 rebounds, Three, uh, three assists and four steals. I was going to check how many steals he had because I, because I know he at least had like three or four. Um, because that man is insane when it comes to the defensive end. And um, also Kenya Martin had 14 points. But um, yeah, I, I think Aaron Holiday might have left the game because I know that he got injured or tweaked a muscle or a bone or something. But um yeah, I think the Pacers were just on, and the Hornets were just not on. That's basically how it went. But the Pacers played like a playoff team, but they will have to face, I'm trying to think, they do have to face now the Wizards for the eight seed, and whoever wins that game will end up having to play the Sixers in the first round. But um, moving on to, I think, probably the best game of the day, the Celtics versus Wizards. The winner of this game would get the seven, the seven seed to face the Brooklyn Nets in the first round. Loser of this would have to play the winner of the other game, which turned out to be the Pacers for the number eight seed. So, listen, Tatum balled out. Starting off with the Wizards, though, we'll just quickly go through this. Um, nobody really with an outstanding game. You, Of course, you have Bradley Beal, but he was one for six from three, tw 10 for 25 from the field. And then, of course, you have Russell Westbrook, over four from three. 6 for 18 from the field, still ended up with 20 points, 14 rebounds, and 5 assists. Pretty, pretty insane stuff. Nobody else on the bench, I mean, like, literally, I mean, nobody else in the starting lineup scored more than 8 points. Um, but off the bench, you did have guys like Daniel Gafford, who was a good, good addition at the traded line, plus Ish Smith, who was, um, he was definitely a big, big help off the bench. So was Garrison Matthews, but he did not play too, too much, nor did he shoot too, too much. Um... But I think they the final score of this game did go to the Celtics, 118-100. to 100. They lost by 18. I, I had the Wizards winning. I'm already 0 for 2. But the good news is I'm filming this in the middle of the Spurs-Grizzlies game, and I did take the Grizzlies, and they are up by, what, 30-something points right now? I have no clue. It's pretty insane. Um, Jason Tatum, 
14 for 32 from the field, 5 for 12 from 3, 8 rebounds, 4 assists, 50 points. You heard me, 55-0, balling out there. Kemba Walker, 10 for 24 from the field, uh, 6 for 14 from 3 with 29 points. Marcus Smart, not the best game. Evan Fournier, not the best game either. And nobody else off the bench had a good, good game. Tristan Thompson had a 12-12 uh, and 12 game. So, you know, he's there getting those boards. But nobody else really had an outstanding game. Robert Williams only played 14 minutes. Um, he did not look like himself too, too much out there. He was battling a wrist injury, if I believe. No, it might have been. I, I, I can't remember what his injury was. I know that he was, I know that he had an injury, though. Um, but it was Kemba and the Jason Tatum show. Mostly Jason Tatum, as he had definitely not his career high. I think he's definitely had some more 50-point games this season, which is pretty insane. A superstar in the making is what we are watching right now. Um, but, yeah, I think that this was definitely the best game of the day. Celtics take this one home. Uh, the Wizards were doing... The, the Wizards kept it close. I think that the Celtics... I was watching until the like late fourth quarter, but then after that, it was just full Celtics lead. Um as the Grizzlies are up by 11 right now. So I guess the Spurs kind of coming back a little bit. They were down like 20-something before. Um, but, yeah. Um, the, the Wizards kept it close until the very end. And at the very end, like I said, late fourth quarter, the Celtics just kind of took over. Um, as Patty Mills just hit a deep, deep three from the logo. Okay, down to an eight-point lead for the Spurs. We're going to have to get to that game, but... Um, because it's gonna, it, this is this is getting to a good game, as DeAnthony Melton, it looks like, no, it was Jacob Poto with the block, here's DeRozan, DeJounte Murray, okay, I don't even know what's going on, here's Murray, the cross, and one, oh no, he missed it, alright, but um, yeah, Jason Tatum with a 50 point game, we're gonna have to see how this pans out versus the Pacers, as they put up 144 points, as we just saw against the Hornets, but you know, it's going to be fun to see. Celtics officially get the 7th seed with the win over Washington. They will go against Brooklyn in the first round as the loser of that game and the winner of the other game would go against each other for the 8th seed, being the Pacers and Wizards will play each other. Now we have the Spurs-Grizzlies tonight um, and the Lakers-Warriors. Winner of the Lakers-Warriors game gets the 7th seed as the loser of that game plays the winner of the Grizzlies Spurs game, which in this case right now is looking like the Grizzlies, but you know, Spurs coming back, only making a six point game now. But that will wrap up the video. If you are watching on YouTube, make sure you go check out um, the Spotify and Anchor and etc. for Huddy's podcast because it's also on there. And if you're watching on Anchor, uh, Spotify, etc., make sure you go check out the YouTube and go subscribe there. Um, and follow me on Spotify or Anchor for updates when the new video is posted if you prefer podcast or to watch the youtube video with the pictures it doesn't really matter to me whatever you guys like best but um that will wrap up you guys have a great day and hopefully these games get entertaining hopefully the lakers warriors game is entertaining because that, that that's what i've been looking forward to my whole entire week uh yeah i guess hope you guys have a great day peace